Hello y'all, this is New Ways, a mod for Hearts of Iron 4 that aims to improve the original game. It adds new mechanics as well as new focuses, events, and decisions. We could play as Italy, but we aren't going to do that. Instead, we will be the microstate San Marino, which is surrounded by Italy on all sides. And with that said, this nation is essentially an enclave if we go by the textbook definition of the word. Starting off, we have one national spirit called Neutral Foreign Policy. Giuliano Gassi is the country leader, and the San Marinese Fascist Party is the ruling party. And unsurprisingly, because of that, fascism is the ruling ideology. Gassi historically was a captain region of San Marino five times, as well as the de facto leader of the nation from 1918 to 1943. For some context, due to the way San Marino's government operates, two heads of state must be elected by the legislature every six months, and these heads of state are called the captain's regent. Now, as for Gossi, he fought for the Italian army in World War I, and then came back and became the Secretary for Foreign Affairs in 1918. He founded the San Marinese Fascist Party in 1922, then in 1923, after forming a coalition with other parties, and with perhaps some help from Italian fascists, his party won the election. Then in 1926, no one could really run against him due to the other parties being banned, and thus San Marino became a one-party state. The way the country was run was greatly inspired by how Benito Mussolini ran Italy. Moving forward to 1943, when World War II was going on, Italy surrendered that particular year, and San Marino fascism kind of fell apart as a result. Gossi tried to make a new fascist party, but that itself would only last until 1944. Looking at our military, we have one single unit, and in the commander department, our country leader is the commander. Something important I need to tell you is that our division template is one battalion of light infantry, and that is 100 manpower. 10 of these would be 1,000 men. This should give you an idea of what San Marino is working with here. Moving on to technology, we have up-to-date weapons, early fighters, and I'm sort of shocked by this, but also close air support. Let's begin our mini focus tree. We shall complete domination of Gassi, development of agriculture, expansion of vineyards, Muscat San Marino, and reconstruction of Titano. It's only a few days since we started, and Giuliano Gazzi has decided to abandon the neutral foreign policy, and that means we will no longer have that national spirit. San Marino will most likely now start affiliating itself more and more with other fascist-led countries. The national bloc wins in Spain. Regardless of this political victory for them, there may still be a Spanish civil war in the near future. It is still 1936, after all. There is a coup in Bulgaria, and Italy at this time is fighting in the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. We will be keeping a close eye on Mussolini's colonial conflict in East Africa. Considering San Marino has a fascist government, it wouldn't be that hard for us to join the German Reich-led Axis, which is something we are going to do now. Our country has officially become the second member of the Axis, and so, as part of this somewhat crazy scheme I have thought about, we are going to justify a war goal in Austria, and we will assume the Germans will help us in that potential war. Once Austria is out of the way, we are going to justify on Italy, and with our 100 men and possible German assistance, we will take over the Italian peninsula, or at least get some more territory. Over in Asia, the Republic of China is fighting a bunch of warlords for reasons unknown to us, and their only ally appears to be the Ningxia clique Ma. Checking on Italy and Africa, they are losing in Eritrea, but they are gaining ground as they advance from the state of Somaliland. A Spanish civil war against anarchists has started. Spain and its puppets will be taking on the communes of Aragon and Andalusia, as well as the Catalan communes. The Spanish civil war ended as quick as it began, and within a couple months, the anarchists were defeated. Our war goal for Austria is ready, and so we are going to declare war. Also, we will make sure to check the Call Allies box, because that is very important. With that conflict underway, we are going to begin justifying a war goal on Italy, who is still busy in Ethiopia. All we gotta do now is wait 230 days. To complete the rest of the focus tree, the part we have access to anyway, 
We will do Supreme Sovereign Council, Il Popolo Samarnese, Fascist Agitation, Some Kind of Law Thing, Develop a Penny with Italy, Convention on Friendship and Good Neighborliness, and Improve the Rimini San Marino Road. Update on the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. Italian Eritrea has been lost completely, but that earlier push from Somaliland is still ongoing, and on that front, Italy could soon reach the capital of Ethiopia. By using a special decision mechanic, we will be able to purchase weapons at the cost of political power. This is good because we have no military factories. Looking back over to Asia again, it seems that fighting has broken out between the Great Qing and the Japan Shogunate. Our war goal on Italy is ready, but we aren't going to do anything yet as we are waiting for the German Reich, who much to our dismay has decided not to attack the Austrians. While we are unable to count on Hitler's aggression right now to accomplish our goals, there is still a chance the Anschluss will take place soon. Off in the Middle East, an internal conflict is going down in the form of a civil war in Persia between the Imperial State of Iran and Islamist Iran. The Japanese Shogunate, now the Japanese Empire, has joined the Axis. As for their war, they look to be making good progress as they smash into the Qing defenses. Italy joins the Axis and thus our grandiose plans are ruined. In other news, Gibraltar fell to the Spanish who are clashing with the British, which may have to do with a Spanish invasion of Portugal. Of course, now that Italy is in the Axis, Germany decides to invade Austria. We could maybe strike at the Vatican, and we would most likely win in any kind of potential battle, but they have their independence guaranteed by the Italians, so that may not be the best idea. Liberia has lifted an embargo on us, which I wasn't aware there was one in the first place, and the second Italo-Ethiopian war in terms of casualties has so far nearly 600,000 for the Ethiopians, and 330,000 for Italy. The USSR expands into Europe by integrating Finland, which had been ruled by the Communist Party of Finland, I think. Soviet officials refuse to acknowledge descriptions of the recent assimilation of Red Finland as aggressive. San Marino and its population of less than 40,000 will not be stopped in its quest for martial glory. With that in mind, we will justify a war goal on Valencia, which is a puppet of Spain. The Spanish state, which we will have to fight alongside Valencia, is crumbling thanks to territorial losses from combat. Hopefully they stay alive long enough for us to start our war. To our southeast, the country of Albania is fighting itself. The two sides involved are the Kingdom of Albania and the Albanian People's Soviet Republic. The Axis is invading Czechoslovakia, which is something we are not going to get involved in, and while that is going on, the USSR is having a civil war. Our invasion of Spain has started and by calling in the Italians to act as naval support, we will land in Barcelona with 400 men. On this note, I will just say Barcelona and the larger Catalonia has a population far greater than 400 men. The side we were on won the conflict. We didn't get much of anything, but now at least it can be said San Marino technically beat a country 8,000 times larger than itself. I will leave you with this. Overall, the Samarnese, despite the size of their country, have managed to perform better in warfare than, say, the Italians, who, even with Axis aid, are still unable to defeat Ethiopia. The video is going to end here. If you enjoyed the mod, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment because it helps the algorithm recommend the video more. Have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.